the BJP seems poised to win the elections in Uttar Pradesh, even as it seems poised to be decimated in Punjab along with the Shiromani Akali Dal. That's what the exit polls have said last night. However, there is another issue here. In case the BJP wins this election, the BJP has its hands full with its war against corruption agenda in Uttar Pradesh. Apart from that, the party will be headed for polls in 2019, which means it just cannot afford anti-incumbency in UP, which is the largest state and has contributed almost 70 MPs to the party's kitty in the Lok Sabha. What is Narendra Modi's basic fundamental agenda for Uttar Pradesh? On the serious side, well, he has to create jobs for millions of unemployed youth. He has to tackle the issue of the wipeout of industry under the previous regimes. And he has to launch a war against corruption and black money in that state which is known to be a textbook example for having the most corrupt politicians and the most corrupt bureaucracy. Now on the lighter side, Narendra Modi's government will spend most of their time actually providing employment to construction site workers in Uttar Pradesh to create new jails just to jail the thousands and lacks of corrupt people they will have to catch if they actually start a drive against corruption. Because corruption has become institutionalized and manualized in the state of Uttar Pradesh in the last 20 years of regional party rule. The worst case scenario will be, and mind you, this will actually be the worst case scenario, in case the BJP doesn't get an absolute majority. In case the BJP falls anything short of 203 seats, then there is a chance that the Samajwadi Party, the Bahujan Samaj Party and the Congress can together try and form the government in the state. And this government will actually come to its own of the state with only one agenda in mind, to generate more and more corruption. And this has been going on for the last uh, 20 years. So much so that today it is dangerous to speak the word secularism in drawing room conversation in Uttar Pradesh because there are chances that there will be somebody in the room who may actually feel so upset by the use of this much abused word in UP, secularism, that you could actually get beaten up. So it's better to sit and watch what happens. In case the BJP comes to power, there will be pressure on the BJP to tackle the issue of corruption and in case it does not come to power, there will be pressure on the corrupt to generate more and more money through corruption and loot and plunder Uttar Pradesh as they please for the next five years.